What's up YouTube? This is your girl Foxy Brown and I'm coming to you once again from the legendary house of Shay. I really super um, don't know what's going on here. I have, um, oh my God, the lighting. I'm losing the light here. I'm trying to move stuff. Oh, I have a little Christmas tree here. So it's, it looks like it's in the way of the last little light that I have and I'm at an angle. Is that a little bit better? See my little, my little Christmas tree. And that stuff back there is from a haul that I did. So that's why that's up there. So I'm trying to capture, I guess, the last bit of light that is coming through. Um, it's actually snowed here yesterday, but today wasn't too bad. Anyway, today I'm coming to you guys. Um, like I said, this is uh, Foxy from the Legendary House of Shea, if I didn't say that at first. Um, I would like to ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I have been gone for a minute. Um, it's been a couple of months since I have recorded a video. I was maybe a little discouraged and a little overwhelmed about the whole YouTube process, um, but I realized that I'm a person that I don't quit, I don't give up, so uh, I had actually planned on doing a lot of recording during the holidays. I had actually planned it out. Um, I had done some shopping to um, put some more things in this room where I'll be doing my um, videotaping. But, you know, life happens. Actually, I, I do a lot of running around normally. I have a very stressful job. So to tell you the truth, when I got off, I was off um, altogether for three weeks. The first week I was you know, preparing for Christmas. And then after that, I was really, to tell you the truth, I was chilling and then I got sick. So once I got sick, I got sick toward the end. And then you know what happens, you know, sometimes you push a lot of things that you're gonna do uh, to the end of something, you know, like the last minute, me and the last minute have a very uh, good and long standing relationship. And what wound up happening once I got sick, I was, I was out, I mean, like a light. So I was out for the count, down for the count, down goes Frazier the whole nine. And then I went back to work. And um, once I went back to work, of course, you know, that's stressful. And I, you know, trying to get back into my routine. Um, I had um, gained some more weight uh, before I was walking. I was doing like 20,000 steps a day. Um, I was just killing it. And then, you know, little by little, I started um, I was doing keto and like low carb. I like lost weight and then I just, you know, like I said, life happens. Um, there's no one else's and it was my fault that this happened because I started eating things I wasn't supposed to eat, you know, saying, okay, I'm going to, you know, next week and next week I'm going to do this and do that. And of course, next week have not been coming. Um, and once I was off, the only time I was really walking was when I was shopping. Then once I got sick, that was it. So last week I went back to work and um, I part of my commute is walking. And I'm telling you, my back was killing me because I hadn't been walking like that. Like, you know, my walk is like 15 minutes. Um, it took me maybe 16 minutes. Um, I had actually gotten that walk down to 12 minutes. Um, so I, I could feel it. And the only thing you have to do is really just kind of start all over again. I mean, that's that's what life is all about. Hold on one second. We're, oh, I'm sorry. Get some water here. Um, I really hope this thing does not poop out on me before I finish talking. This is one of my Starbucks. I love Starbucks cups. So anyway, um, there's a whole bunch of things going on in the world and um, one of the things, one of the uh, parts of my channel that I wanted to highlight was um, mental health. And the next, you know, I had done like the first one and uh, it was really, I, I think the reason that I didn't continue with it was because I wanted everything to be perfect. I wanted it to be right. I didn't want people to think that I was representing myself, representing myself as some sort of expert but I'm, I'm just gonna just start talking about things um the next uh part of the series was actually depression so 
I do suffer from depression. I think with me, um, people don't think I'm depressed because everyone that knows me thinks of me as a super, super strong person, which I am. And I think people think you can't be depressed and be strong. And overcoming depression, uh, working through depression, uh, living with depression, you it, it, it does take a great deal of strength. And I am not, I'm only speaking about myself, not anyone else, whatever I say, um, it refers to me because I only, I know me as the person that I've lived with for all these years and the things that I have found and the ways that I've found to overcome. Uh, being depressed doesn't mean that for me, um, I think me being a single mom was something that almost forced me to uh, work through my depression and deal with my depression. Um, I'm a sole provider for my daughter and I always wanted to be a good example for her. And I think in some ways, um, maybe I did good things, um, some ways maybe not so much because I know a lot of things um, I would suppress and hide and in order for me to appear to be a certain way. And once her and I, we actually done therapy and counseling together and we have a very open relationship now on what therapy is, what counseling is, uh, what depression is, mental health, that it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's something that pretty much I think everyone has to deal with. Um, it just depends on how they deal with it. Um, for me, a lot of times when I do feel depressed, um, it's a lot of self-reflection. And some people may think it's like, oh, you're just staying to yourself, but it's the way that I have to sort of work through um, the things that I'm dealing with. Um, I do have to find an outlet. And my outlet a lot of time is my creative creativity. Um, and it could be reading and it, or it could just be self-reflection, which sometimes means that I have to sort of shut down and not deal with the things that are triggering me. And I know people use that term a lot with trigger and some people think it's, it's, it's overused, but triggering is real. There are things that happen that make you feel worse. And you know, that's what, a, that's for me, that's what a, a, a trigger is. Um, I think that over the holidays, I did feel that. I mean, I did feel leading up to the holidays. Um, I did feel a depression coming on and not so much always to do with me, but I'm a Leo. I don't know if that's a Leo trait, but I'm very sensitive to other people's hurt. And sometimes that has been to my own detriment because I will hurt for you and while you're not even hurting for yourself. So I'm hurting for you, worrying about what's going to happen with you. Maybe um, if you have toxic relationships and, you know, when someone comes to me, if someone comes to me and they're crying or they're upset about something, I tend to take that on. Um, that's just my nature as the type of person that I am. And then I and instantly think of ways to help that person solve their problem. Now, everyone doesn't want to solve a problem. Some people really do just want to vent and some people just don't mind being um, in that role of victim or person who wants to be used. So sometimes I find myself in that position where I've tried to help someone and then they turn around and the things that they do are totally opposite of what they said they wanted. And I have had to learn not to take it personally, but it, it still does. It is something that does bother me because I am a person that I do care about others. I don't like um, bullies. I don't want, I don't, I don't like when someone feels bullied. Um, but then again, um, I have interacted with people where I was totally there for them. And then you see them back in the situation again, back with the same people, almost like they're begging to be manipulated or spat upon or basically shit upon again. So, um, so sometimes when I see these things, you know, I'm like, wow. 
and then I take a step back and I'm like, worry about yourself, which is what I usually tell people, you know, who do a lot of busybody worry. Um, I don't generally worry about people that have nothing to do with me. It's usually just the people that have come to me with things. And I mean, bad things. I'm not talking about, you know, you know, two people may have had like a little spat. I mean, really life altering or, or life threatening type things. So that's something that, um, so when the holidays do come, and I just felt like overwhelmed with that, all, along with what's going on in the world, I felt like totally overwhelmed. So when I come home, like that's some place that I like to be because I feel like when I'm home and when I'm with my family, um, it's a really good place to be for me. Um, I feel safe, I feel welcome, I feel understood. I don't feel that all the time outside and I have to be a person that fights outside. I mean, I, you know, hear people talking about um, being humble and I feel like there's, there's a difference between being humble and letting people run over you. I'm humble in the face of God who has provided me with so many opportunities. That's where my, I'm humble in that respect. But I work in New York City. I work in a place that's dog eat dog. Um, you cannot go into the city and be a meek um, a person who um, is meek and you know humble in that respect because you'll get eaten alive. Um, I cannot be that way. I'm a leader at my job, so I have to be strong. I cannot be a person that is weak because then I will get run all over. And I'm, that's just not going to happen um, as I respect those who um, are an authority over me. I expect the same thing as I give respect to, 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 to others. So um, I think that when I hear people say, you know, telling people how they should live when they're doing the total opposite thing. So then I've had to learn to just ignore a lot of stuff, but still I think that it does bother me and I internalize it. And then, um, I kind of shut down and when I shut down, it's a good thing too, because I shut down, not out of just like anger, but also to say, why is that bothering you? Take a deep breath. Um, I actually had started doing meditation at night, um, well at night when I'm going to bed because I work at night so sometimes when I'm going to bed it's really the afternoon where I would listen to YouTube uh, meditation videos, affirmation um, and that had really helped me and I kind of fell out of that so that's something I had to start doing again because when you really take the time to just think about yourself and find outlets and ways to make yourself better, you really don't have time to listen, be bothered, because we all say that, oh, I don't have time for that. But then before you know it, you're sucked into something and then, and then you know, it starts spiraling. So that's something that I said, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm really going to make a more conscious effort. I know in the past I used to get on Facebook and boy, if somebody said something, I'm like, <laughs> You know, I will, if I was on somebody else's page, my friend's page, and then I put something, somebody say something to me. So what I kind of learned last year, I think the year before last, I had really done well. And then this girl said something that was so ridiculously stupid about when I went to see Michelle Obama um, during the book tour. And it was so stupid. And I went in and that was like December, like December of 2018. So all this past year, I was like, I, and, I, and I had really worked not to do it, but I did it that day. And the thing is about me, I don't like doing that, but I'm a pro at it. So I don't want to have to go in on people. I don't, it takes a lot out of me. And see, the thing is you could go in on me and it's really not going to bother me. When you're going in on me, I'm just trying to see how I'm going to get, 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 get back. Okay, and then the things that I usually say, they cut deep. So um, I said, that's it. So last year I did really, really well. I don't really remember any of those um, had, <laughs> having happened last year. Um, 
what I would do. Um, and I also stopped, like if I would see something on a friend's page, it was controversial, it's like, leave it alone. Just don't even open yourself up to it. Um, the things that I put on my page, um, they are open up, open for debate, but again, actually a lot of the people who probably would not agree with me are no longer my friends anyway, <laughs> because they already blocked me, you know, once Trump was elected. So that's cool. And even the hoteps as well. So, oh, look, it's, it's really, it's really going down. I don't know how I look under this light, but anyway, so, um, that's something that I did and I, I, I was really successful at it last year and this year I'm going to even be better. Um, like I said, I saw a lot of things leading up to the holidays about, um, you know, how people should spend their holidays. I mean, there's a lot of people that don't like the holidays, then just don't like them. You know, don't make people who are happy feel like they are bragging or, um, or being like holding something over you if you don't have that. Um, for me, I'm a person that my love language is is, is to give. Um, I love to give my family. I love because my family is the reason that I can do whatever it is I do. I stand on the strength of my family. My mom, my daughter, my niece, my brothers, my auntie. Those That is my core right there. I can't do anything, anything that I have done, you know, of course it's by the grace of God, but it's because they have had my back. They've had my back. So whatever you see and people think, oh, well, you know, that is because of them. So that's the time when I, um, even though I'm generous throughout the year, that's something that's like, I love having my family at my house. I love feeding them. I love giving them gifts. That makes me happy. If I post pictures of that, it's not because I'm trying to say, look what I can do. There's times when I didn't have it and it was still just as important to me to be there, you know, for them because they have always been there for me. So, you know, there was, you know, we had a, an awesome, amazing, amazing Christmas. You know, I wanted to post pictures and I was like, no, you know what? I won't. I, I really won't because I don't want to even feel the negativity because we had such a great time um, through Christmas, um, New Year's. And then right after New Year's was my aunt's birthday. So we had a celebration at her house for that. And I love my family and um, that they are a way that I actually work through um, my sadness, my depression. Um, like I said, it's it's not always something, if I am sad and depressed, that has to do with me. It's more my feelings, my sensitivity, uh, what's going on um, in the world, people who are losing things, who have less than, um, you know, I want more for everyone. So sometimes that really hurts. And then I start thinking about myself and, you know, well, why different things. So like I said, depression is real. So um, what I have decided to do is to actually start seeing a therapist again. Um, nothing really super duper major going on, but I just really think I would like to have someone new to work um, through some things with. Um, the person that I had, the last therapist that I had um, moved because of a family, um, something was happening, a, a death in her family and she wound up um, moving. So she's no longer here. She does have a online practice, but I really prefer to sit with someone and get their vibe that way. Even though I know her, um, I really rather connect with her that way. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to doing um, actually in the next couple of weeks. I should be seeing someone new and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, there's a lot going on in the world that's so depressing and um sometimes we just need a little somebody that doesn't know you to you know 
kind of affirm the ways that you're moving, um, maybe a new way of handling things because, you know, I kind of have a routine that I get into when I um, get this way. So maybe this is a new person that can give me some new insight. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. If you are a person that feels this way, I mean, if you have some feelings of anxiety, um, sadness, um, there's so many things. I mean, we look in, in the news every day and people are, people are suffering. And um, in many cases, um, family members and friends are just making sort of excuses for people. So don't fall into that trap. There's nothing wrong with seeing a therapist. Um, like I said, for some people, people tell me, oh, you're so strong, you're the strongest person I know. Well, I am strong, but that does not mean that I don't have depression or that I don't have um, real sadness. So for maybe if I had never uh, received therapy or found uh, tools in, in order to work through these things, I wouldn't be this person. So there's that for anyone who thinks that, um, well, I can just, you know, I'll get over it because it's not that easy all the time. So anyway, I'm back um, and I'm really looking forward to growing my channel this year and um, definitely highlighting more videos on mental health um, and uh, just other things that are going on in my life. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you could please like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. You can also um, uh, share it with your friends and ask them to become uh, members of the Legendary House of Shea. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to grow on my channel so that I can eventually do lives. So I would really love to do lives. I think that is where I need to be because I can connect with people that way and we can go live and, and have fun. So let's do that, okay? Thank you very much for listening and peace and blessings.